with growing energy needs should india keep on expanding its nuclear energy program discuss the facts and fears associated with nuclear energy this is again a very classical question on nuclear energy whenever we study nuclear energy one topic we always study is the facts and fears uh, some good things about nuclear energy and some bad things so i had noted down some data from the official website uh, of of the energy where i found some data related to how nuclear energy is playing a role and what kind of an impact uh, how productively nuclear energy could be introduced so i opened this answer by uh, by telling the growing energy needs of the country the fact that india is an energy hungry country not only because of the population but also because of the increasing urbanization and development in india so i opened up the answer by need of energy india being energy hungry india being energy hungry and then i moved on specifically to the role of nuclear energy because that is where the uh, question is asked the question is should india keep on expanding and you asked to substantiate both on facts and fears so i divided my answer into facts and fears for the facts i mentioned how the uh, productivity of nuclear energy is really good how you don't need uh, really much resources you can use the radioactive elements that you have and you can process it in different processing uh, across the uh, across the country and i also mentioned how we are you know getting into different agreements with uh, even united states and russia in order to promote nuclear energy in our country but fears are also something which is asked so i substantiated it by the fact that nuclear energy is considered to be really dangerous if it contaminates the environment and the radioactive elements i also mentioned the chernobyl disaster that happened in the uh, fukushima disaster so these are some of the disasters which you can mention because they've had a very high impact negative impact on the world so um, and that's how i just uh, suitably uh, concluded that you know we should be moving more towards the non conventional energies like the solar energy the wind the geothermal etc